Caution! The video might have jokes, not suitable for kids. Proceed at your own risk. Also, let me know in the comment, how much did you like my voice and narration? Thank you. A new comment has just arrived. Fasten your seatbelts, as I will tell you how you can watch it, because I am dumb enough to think that you haven't read the title of the video. Sit tight, watch the full video, as all your questions will be answered here. So, without getting disintegrated as we approach the sun, let's start. This video is divided into many parts, including the introduction, where to see this comet, how to see this comet, and where to point your tube, your telescope tube, to get that astronomical pleasure. You can watch your favorite part of the video by clicking on the timestamps given in the description box. I am telling this because 99% of the viewers treat a full-length video as YouTube shorts and leave after 30 seconds. I am sure that you will last longer than 30 seconds, and that's what she said too. First, let us know a bit about this comet. Don't worry, I won't take much of your time, as even I don't want to spend much time making the video, haha. <laughs> comet C slash 2017 K2 Panstars, an 11 miles wide comet has just entered our inner solar system. Michael Yeager, an astrophotographer, has captured Comet C-2017 K2 entering our solar system with his 16-inch long telescope when its magnitude was 9, and its orbit will bring it close to the Sun. This comet is approaching us from the Oort cloud, and was first identified in the year 2017, that's a long time back. Finally, the old man is coming to greet us. If you are among the 1% of the viewers who have patience, and are still sticking around, the video from this point is a reward for you guys, love you. When it was originally found, it was 1.5 billion miles away from our Earth, hiding somewhere between Saturn and Uranus, not your anus, so don't look behind. This is not the funny part, the funny part is, when it was discovered, scientists believed it to be 99 miles wide, but upon further investigations, it was found to be just 11 miles wide. Even the comets might be thinking that the humans believe size matters when it comes to comets too. Aww. Oh, leave it. What's even funnier, is you watching the video and not subscribing it. As what most men on Earth say to themselves to satisfy their ego, Comet did the same to itself. The Comet said, and I quote, Hey! Although my size was quoted incorrectly, but I am not small enough to not make you happy. You can still see me. The comet is as large as two Mount Everest stacked on top of each other. It is as large as a mountain, let's see, if it turns out to be as hard as a mountain too. As most of the comets disintegrate when they approach the sun, damn, it's hot. Do you know that the recent meteor storm, Tau Herculids, happened because of the disintegration of the comet too? Comment down below if you saw that meteor shower. My fellow stargazers, now you might be wondering if you will be able to spot this comet when it streaks across the night sky, as I am wondering why you still haven't subscribed to the channel yet. The comet will make its closest approach to the Earth on July 14th, but it will be too dim to be seen with naked eye. But amateur level telescopes will easily be able to spot it. The comet is still visible and will continue to be visible till September 2022. Till September, it will be best visible to people in the Northern Hemisphere, after which it will be best visible from the Southern Hemisphere. Now talking of the exact spot in the darkness, you have to point your telescope to the constellation Ophiuchus, yes. That's it. That's the spot. Yes. Right there. Subscribe to know about the exact timings to see it, which will be uploaded shortly. So, polish your telescopes, they will come in handy soon. Follow me on Instagram, which I know you won't as you might not even watch this part of the video. Till then, I hope to see you in my next video.